Good morning, hot dogs. It's finally Friday. Picture retakes, homecoming week, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next week is Spirit Week. These are your 2021 Fall Homecoming Spirit Days. Monday is Color Day. Freshmen wear red, sophomores wear green, juniors wear purple, and seniors wear black. Tuesday is Meme Day, Wednesday is Safari Day, Thursday is Hippie Day, and lastly, Friday is Blue and White. Now to weather and sports. Good morning, hot dogs. This morning it was 46 degrees. When you come into the school, today's low will be 44 degrees, and the high of today will be 74 degrees. This weekend will be chilly and cloudy with a village of temperature of 70 degrees. That's it for weather, now to sport with corn. Thanks, Asusena. Thursday night, the boys soccer team traveled to Danville to face the Warriors in conference play. Frankfurt played well through the, through the first half and the excellent play resulted in a goal by junior Marcos Garcia from senior Yobani Trinaldo's throw-in. The goal gave Frankfurt a 1-0 lead into halftime. The competitive conference play continued into the second half. Danville converted the chance in regular time and ended in a 1-1 tie. Both teams kept each other scoreless in the two overtimes, so the match was decided by penalty kicks. Marcus Garcia and seniors Damian Lopez, Giovanni Trinaldo, Jose Balderas, and Alex Campos each converted on their penalty kick. Alex Campos also had a huge save on Danville's first penalty shot to give the Hot Dogs a conference victory 2-1. Fakefer is now 6-6 on the season and 4-1 in conference play. The Hot Dogs travel to Tri-West on Saturday to continue conference play with the boys and girls doubleheader. The volleyball team had a tough loss last night against Clinton Prairie, losing 3-0. Also, there will be no football game tonight against Western Boone. Now, let's send it to Nelson as he was able to catch up with Emily Shipley this week. After having an outstanding senior season and being one of the two girls on the golf team, Emily Shipley advances to regionals after being the first girl in school history to win a sectional title. Here's what she has to say. How does it feel to be the first sectional champion in girls' golf in school history? Um, it's good to know that all my hard work is starting to pay off since my freshman year. So. How's this season gone despite you and your sister being the only ones on the team? Um, even though I like to play by myself, it's good to know that she's there to play with me and for me to have fun and stuff like that. So, how did you feel at sections? Uh, I thought it was amazing, but I was really overwhelmed at the end, but I'm glad I got to regionals. What are your plans going into regionals so far? Uh, my plan is to just get a better score than I did at section because at section was my personal best. So if I get better, then I know I'll go to state. How far have you come since your freshman year? Um, I have grown tremendously. Um, my scores, for example, my freshman year, I didn't even break 100. And then now my senior year, I'm in the low 80s. And now I'm going to regionals, so that shows how much I've grown. So. Thanks, Nelson. We would like to congratulate Emily Shipley again for winning sectionals and advancing to regionals. She will be playing at 9.15 on the 25th at Battleground. Good luck, Emily. That's all for sports. Now, back to your hosts. Picture day is near. FHS students and staff, haven't had your picture taken? Are you new to FHS or do you need a picture retake? Well, you're in luck. Picture day is October 14th. A happy birthday goes out to Jose Lopez Garcia. That's all for the announcements, hot dogs. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. We hope you enjoy your day and have a great weekend.